Welcome back. Uh, berries, they're a great addition to your breakfast or snack throughout the day. Yeah, but they can get kind of pricey if you buy them at the store every week, so why not just grow your own? Garden Guy Dale K joins us now live to show us how to do that successfully. Good morning, Dale. Good morning, Kelly. And edibles, of course, wildly popular and for good reason. You, you mentioned the economics, also the flavor as well. And for most of them, you don't need a lot of space to get started either, which is really good news. And actually just right behind me against the water there is kind of a bramble of uh, kind of a bramble of berries. So maybe if you've got that going on in your own backyard, you can change channel. See ya. No, only, <laughs> only joking, only joking. There's a lot of different types of berries that you can plant in your own backyard. But firstly, let's talk a little bit about soil preparation because that is key. Just about whatever berry that you grow, they all like well-drained soil that's rich in organic matter. So let's take a look at how you can amend your soil. Firstly, um, really peat moss um, is a great amendment for a soil. Um, that will loosen soil if you have compacted soils. And if you don't have a herd of dairy cows, like a 80 head of herd in your backyard, you can buy well-rutted manure, well-rutted composted manure from your favorite local garden shop. And I always like to incorporate that when planting any of my edibles, especially the berries. And then also my little secret, the coop poop there, it is absolutely phenomenal absolutely phenomenal for gardening. If you find that at your favorite local garden shop, you'll know they know what they're talking about. And then also some other good other good fertilizers uh, for berries. There's some special, uh, specially made berry tome um, from Espoma. That's a pretty good one as well. And we'll talk about a little bit about soil sulfur when we talk about blueberries. So what are the different types? Once you've got your soil all set, what are the different types of berries that you can plant or small fruits as, as I call them? Firstly, um, grapevines. Not only uh, do you get the fruit, but a great ornamental plant as well. You can see this, this one here is actually about in full bloom. And of course, that will be the cluster of fruit come a little bit later in the season. Um, some really good Minnesota varieties are developed right here by the U of M, uh, Marquette, Frontenac, and Itasca in the back. The Itasca is the white one. And then Frontenac, of course, uh, widely famous for its reds in this neck of the woods and Marquette as well, also taking storm. Um, if you want to try making a little bit of your own fermented um, grapes, turning them into wine, that's special. But you can also just eat the grapes themselves as well if you've got them growing on a trellis. They're actually very, very sweet, most of them. Actually, they are all very, very, very sweet. And you, all you got to do is work around the, the seeds a little bit. Um, I find the seeds actually quite a good little challenge and kind of, um, I don't mind them at all. They're kind of a crunchy aspect to the fruit itself. Um, also raspberries, lots of different types. That one there is Joan J raspberry. Um, if you prune the two year canes out, you'll get more of a June crop. And then if you kind of mow them back down to the ground, you'll end up with a later season crop. So you can go either way on, on that particular one as well. Blueberries, um, a great little landscape plant by Crikey. Um, look, at it's in full bloom right now. So it has this wonderful little uh, bloom uh, that is, of course, the blueberry. And then, of course, it's a giver. It gives you wonderful blueberries in uh, the later season as well. How special is that? And then also turns great fall color in the fall. So it really traverses all the seasons. Blueberries, a great little plant. A mature plant will yield anywhere between probably two and five pounds. You do need cross pollination with these guys. So North Country, North Blue is a great, um, is a great pairing for blueberries. They do like acidic soils all the way down to about four and a half, five. And you can lower your soil pH uh, quite simply with soil sulfur. Don't use aluminum sulfate, it's kind of a heavy metal. That's no good. So soil sulfur is the one that you can uh, tinker with soil pH. And then if you wanna find out where you're at, make sure you take a soil test and that'll help you um, get the most out of your blueberries. Strawberries pretty much grow anywhere. This particular variety is Jewel, it's a great little plant. And a couple of small fruits that you may not have heard of. This is actually a honeysuckle. It was developed by the University of Saskatchewan in Canada and it has a kind of a blueberry type uh, fruit to it, but very, very sweet. Some people call it like a little honeyberry. And then also Arctic kiwi. Um, kiwi fruit, like the one you buy in the grocery store, actually not native to New Zealand, um, has nothing to do with those folks. Um, it's actually native to China, some parts of northern Japan, 
and this is the only one. Most of the kiwis have that kind of uh, fuzzy kind of peach fur on the outside. This is the only one that doesn't. It's very hardy here, and I think pound for pound is actually a lot sweeter than the, than the kiwi that you buy in the store. So that's a great little fruit, and if you want to impress your guests and have something different on the plate or use something different in cuisine, that's a great one. And then finally, uh, strawberries, of course. Uh, I mentioned they really grow anywhere, so if you're short on space, they'll grow in a hanging basket, they'll grow in a pot, and then also just also keep some netting on hand because it seems like birds and every other creature wants at your berries. You want at your berries, so use some of this. That'll help as well. Back to you. Yeah, good Ooh. stuff. Yeah, those, what are they Japanese beetles, the shiny ones that love raspberries? Mm. That's them. This will work. Okay, those are my nemesis, those bugs. Thank there you. There you go. Big bug netting.